Before I even do the intro, we have this piece of info that could say we're getting a World War II title, but it is a little complicated, but still is very possible. We'll get to everything in the video, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? My name is Usman, and today we're gonna be covering the topic of the new Call of Duty, specifically the World War II setting, Nazi zombies, oh boy, and the leaked images. The images could very well be real, and can very well be a well-done fake. I'm gonna let you decide in the comments below, but I will provide both sides of the argument so you'll have a better understanding and even if it results into a well done fake well World War 2 and Nazi zombies is a huge huge possibility for this year's Call of Duty we'll get to everything in a second but if you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing we do daily videos and live streams and in these videos I try to keep a monotone ass voice but uh, on live streams we go full on meme and I will be covering everything related to Call of Duty zombies and even DLC 5 on the channel so definitely do consider subscribing but we're gonna dive straight into it now the first clue that suggests this could be a fake is that I haven't seen a single video been taken down by the time I'm actually making this video there are so several stuff uh, that I've seen going down but it's not really a video taken down if you guys want to know more about it definitely let me know in the comments below and I can make a whole dedicated video about it but just for safety purposes I'm not gonna show any leaked images in my video I'm thinking all of you guys have seen it by now but if you haven't I'll stick a link in the description below but I haven't seen seen any actual video that contained these leaked images been taken down not even the first one that caused everybody to lose their shit and get hyped for this new World War 2 Call of Duty the hype was so huge last night on Twitter and it sucks I, I missed it because I was out watching the new King Kong movie but nevertheless at least now we can have both sides of the argument the cover art seems very professional but at the same time it lacks a lot the Call of Duty logo seems to be a new one and it doesn't seem like it's been taken from old Call of Duty game so that tells us that it may be a real picture but at the same time the World War 2 logo is very inconsistent on different pieces of art we got a lot of arts and like I said I will link it down in the description below and again I am sorry for not being able to show on screen because if it's real then there are risks for copyright and whatnot but there are multiple cover arts and the horizontal distance between Call of Duty and World War 2 is very inconsistent and it seems a little rushed but however, no one has proved yet whether or not these pictures or the soldiers and the whole World War II environment is a ripoff from somewhere or from another movie or not. And it seems like it's new and been done from ground up. And that could tell us two things. Either someone put a lot of effort and time into making this happen or Sledgehammer Games made it. But why isn't the videos on YouTube that contain these leaked images, why haven't they been taken down? Well, that could prove it's fake or maybe it's spread out so fast and it's all over on the internet and there are countless videos out that therefore they may be like uh, let's not even do anything because that is like free publicity and that is making a lot of people very excited including myself and that is really good for whenever the trailer drops because everybody will be hyped for it and patiently waiting for it but them not taking any action on taking down these images or the videos that actually contain these leaked images may make us think it's fake but at the same time it, it is making us hype for the new Call of Duty and that could be a very good reason of them to not do anything but the concrete proof that suggests that this is 99% fake or real is thus a very small youtuber no disrespect my channel is dead as well you know what I'm saying and he made the video two days ago when this info wasn't even spread out like it is now and he got an email that's what he claims and that's what he's showing in his video that actually contained these leaked images and also the message said I found your YouTube channel through Instagram now why would someone actually find someone on Instagram and then go over on the channel and find his email address and send a email to him if you get what I'm saying but if he or she actually got the leak he would probably keep it to himself and won't even reveal or if he wants to leak out the information he will probably go to someone much big again no disrespect my channel is also dead but I uh, would probably go to Dalek or someone that has a lot of credibility built up but the other side of the argument can be well there should be a new marketing strategy and have someone small leak this out and see if it goes anywhere and oh boy it did uh, and it seems like it's an inside job and that would tell us why the videos that contain these leaked images are not taken down and it has spread out like a wildfire I'm thinking it's fake but it's possible it was a new marketing strategy to get people hyped for the new Call of Duty game like knowing the situation of Infinite Warfare this could be a whole plan out game but uh, people are also skeptical 
article about Call of Duty World War II title that this is super simple and yeah you're right but in my mind this super simple title could sell very well like we have seen Call of Duty World at War so why not Call of Duty World War II and instantly you know what the game will be all about it's simple it's catchy and it could sell really really well and will bring back a lot of people to Call of Duty again I'm gonna get you more stuff in just a little bit but let me know what you guys think so far in the comment section down below do you think it's real or fake let me know in the comments below and uh, I want to point this picture right now so on Twitter uh, infinite warfare at call of duty IW news that's the ad of the Twitter shout out to him I really do find people behind this Twitter credible but again take this with a grain of salt he actually put a picture that said this is a pic of Michael Condry's Twitter bio on April 11th 2016 could the quadruple hashtag equal to World War 2 it was removed from his bio about three days later and you can clearly see he had Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Advanced Warfare and quadruple hashtag that could result into World War 2 which is really really exciting but again take this with a grain of salt uh, and I am person I personally am in the very middle although I'm thinking this is a very well done fake but again it's coming from someone that has leaked Infinite Warfare and we know that is true now knowing all of this let's say this is a fake well there's still a huge possibility that we will see a World War 2 setting for Call of Duty this year and also Nazi zombies now back in November 2014 there was an interview done by Metro who actually interviewed I'm assuming Michael Condry but here it says on the on the GameStop this was uh, published by GameStop and, and the title says Advanced Warfare Dev won another World War 2 Call of Duty and I quote I think a next generation game with the latest production values and robustness in a World War 2 setting like Band of Brothers would be amazing Michael Condry says and then it goes something like this but what about going backwards in time the Korean War and Vietnam I guess would work but what about the first world war that's difficult in terms of both mechanics and the difficult morality of the conflict but then what about going further back and doing something like Sharp set during the Napoleonic uh, war hopefully I haven't butchered that name if I have though or that term or that word please bless me in the comments is Call of Duty all warfare throughout the ages are those uh, the sort of things that get discussed or are they ignored instantly because you cannot have machine guns Michael Conway responded well no it's curious I can only answer from my own personal tastes uh, this is my own personal opinion but some of my favorite pieces of entertainment are set in World War 2 Band of Brothers I'm a massive fan of Band of Brothers did you see that and uh, he responded no I'm afraid I don't get much time for television although it was filmed in my hometown Michael Conway then said really but I think it's well recognized as a great production and I'm, I'm sure you've seen Saving Private Ryan and then he responded oh yes and Michael Condry went straight ahead and said and that's a great hero's war kind of the last that was recognized as a noble uh, cause in war so yeah I think a next generation game with the latest production values and robustness in a World War 2 setting like Band of Brothers would be amazing now how would it play and how would the multiplayer work after the new movement set in advanced warfare that's a tougher question than I've had to tackle yet now you can clearly tell what's been going down now I want to know from you guys do you think we're seeing World War 2 or do you think we're seeing World War 2 in Call of Duty 2017 well honestly if you think we're seeing let me know in the comments below and honestly if you don't think we're going to see World War 2 let me know in the comments below and actually do you like this uh, setting or not I'm curious anything over future setting would be much better but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have enjoyed this video give it a like and if you are new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys very freaking soon peace out